Cheryl Jennison DeProsa is joining us from Shure. Hi, Cheryl. How are Hi, you? I'm good. Wait a minute. You? I have to show you my purse. Yes, let's see it. Inside my. <laughs> well, that was very enthusiastic. <laughs> I, I'm a fan of purses. Well, so. I am. A, this is my man purse, but you know, one of the reasons I started carrying a purse is so that I can put stuff that I might need at any moment, any possible moment, in my purse. And of course, I have, as you can see, an iPad, but also I have with the iPad. Oh, I have all sorts of stuff. I have a little uh, light, and I have. Have you ever seen this before? Uh, you know, the I, Shure I MV88. I, I love this microphone. <laughs> I've been flogging this to everybody everywhere I go. This is a microphone with a lightning connector mm -hmm. that you can use on an iPhone. Yep. And I've actually recorded radio commercials under the covers in a hotel with this. I won't tell anybody. Please don't. <laughs> It's a it's top secret. It's so nice to meet you. I've used Shure microphones for years. We always recommend uh, the Shure SM58, the punk punk club microphone of choice. It's actually 50 years old this year. Is it? Yes. This wow. is the 50th anniversary of the SM58. That so, thing, you yeah. cannot kill that thing. You can hammer oh. nails with that thing, and it yeah. sounds great. Yep. I actually have one that belonged to my mother that is um, about 30 years old. Wait a minute. You come from a long line of microphonists? I, I do indeed. What did your mother do? I, she was just a singer. She was in a gospel band for oh, a brief amount of time. And, and she yeah, used the Shure. She had it, and when I got into, got into doing bands, she passed it on to me, and I still use it, and yes. Yeah, all dented up, but it works great. It works like a champ. I'll never forget seeing Letterman before he retired. Mm -hmm. He did his warm up with a Shure SM58 yep. on a very long cable, mm -hmm. and he would swing it around. He would hit the stage with it. That thing had dents in the wind uh, shoots, the microphone uh, yep, foil, the windscreen. Mm -hmm. windscreen, and it took a lick and it kept on ticking. I actually believe that was donated was to it? our archives. Yeah. Oh, I hope yeah, so. Yeah, we had it at NAM this year. We had it in our. our our SM58 Wall of Fame. So yes, we have we have that one. We have one that um, Roger Daltrey from the Who used. Oh nice. Uh, yeah, it's it's one. You know, he always you know would swing the mic around. He would swing his around, around too. Yep. Yeah. And he would always uh, kind of pull them pull the cord up really tight and, and tape it. And the one that we have was one that he had that failed on him, and it was one of very few that ever failed. And and we said, oh my goodness, you know, send it to us. You know, and of course we sent him a new one. And we got it back, and we took it to our service department, and they looked at it, and they're like, the mic's fine. You did the cable two times, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's your fault. It's, yes, yes. So you're a singer. I, I am indeed. Is that how you got uh, into Shure? A, a little bit, yeah. It was sort of a strange, twisted web. Um, but, yeah, I was in a band and was working another day job, you know, just doing office work. And uh, we had a sub saxophone player who's one of the acoustic engineers at ah. the company. And, uh he, we were talking about sure, and it came up that he knew that there was something that was going to open up soon, and I said, I want that job. And Legendary. I was very lucky to get Legendary. it. Legendary. Yeah. So what do you do at Sure? Um, I'm a media relations specialist. Well, I you're work, doing it right now. I am, yes. This is what they pay me the big bucks for, as I always <laughs> say. Um, but yeah, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. I started in the customer service department and worked there for a couple of years, and then uh, made the move into public relations. And I um, love talking about Sure because I love the products and I believe in them. And so. I'm loving this motif line. I think this Thank is you. really interesting. So. You brought the uh, MV88, which is what I use. This is stereo capsules, right? Yes, condenser it's, mic. it's a stereo, yes, condenser microphone. Um, and it works on any iPhone, iPad, iPod, anything with a lightning connector. Um, but the really great thing is that the Motive app that comes with it, it's a free app um, in the iTunes store, and it really unlocks a lot of different features of the microphone. Um, so you can go in here. It's a, it's you can a, show this backwards because there's a, you can see that shot down oh, there. There's a camera over your shoulder. There, there it we, is. Hey, look at that. Look at that. You're wow. making my life easy. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's really nice. You can make it as simple or as complex as you want. There are five presets here. You know, you've got your speech, your singing, your flat, acoustic, and loud. Um, you can adjust your mic gain. You can adjust your stereo width. Or if you really want to get complex, you pull it down and you've got a limiter, a compressor. You've got all sorts of things. You've got an equalizer in here. And you can really just sort of dial in whatever you want it to be. Um, this thing really shines in loud applications if you want to record something at a concert. That's important because um, your phone microphone does not. Exactly. It will completely distort almost instantly. Exactly. And this thing works really well at high SBL levels. I mean, that's really where we see it really do its job and really shine. Uh, we have some fabulous footage of some of our artists. We put them up on our Twitter feed from time to time of just great sounding things. It's, it's really quite amazing, you know, uh, what you can do on your phone now and, and with the I know, I love it. Yeah, it gets you great audio quality. So I'll tell you what I do. That uh, The Motive application allows you to save to Dropbox, which I've set up. Correct. So it automatically, sa I record it using okay. my SM88. I record it to the uh, application. It'll save, I can actually, trim it a little bit, save it out to Dropbox, yep. and then I have an if this, then that um, 
a script that takes, uh, it says, oh, there's something new on Dropbox and shares it up to SoundCloud and makes it public. So I can actually literally record an audio podcast using your Motiv app and the Shure mic and have it posted within minutes. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it really could not be easier. It's yeah. really great. We're really happy that it's working yeah. well for you. Yeah. Um, it's also nice because if you don't want to use the Motive recording app, say you're doing something in garage Yeah, band I can use or, anything. Or even I your set it up app. with Motive yes. and then it keeps those settings, which is nice. It's storing them in the mic. Exactly. The DSP engine for this mic is actually on the mic itself. So everything that you're doing here is saved to the mic. So you can close it down and you can open up your video app. You can open up GarageBand. And it still band, remembers the, the and it's settings. Gonna, it's going to do everything. That's everything awesome. that you need it to do. So I really, really like that. It's really a nice microphone. So that's interesting. So what it's what it's doing is there's a DSP in the microphone itself. So what it's sending through Lightning is already processed. It's the final version of it that all the phone just takes it and records it. Exactly. Well, that's in a exactly. clever way to do it. And you can monitor in real time with your headphones. So, yeah. you know, it's really easy. You just plug in your headphones. You make sure that that setting is switched on and you can hear what you're recording. Now, I also bought, and I see you brought it with you, this old-fashioned mic. I, I love how this looks. I mean, your mom could have used this, right? She, she could have, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think she would have used this. Is that a this. great microphone? Yeah, this is the and MV51. Go ahead. This has on the front, it has settings. So all the settings you just saw uh, in the uh, application, you can also do from the front on this mic. Correct, yes. All the simple applications are right here, those same five DSP. Yeah. Your, you also have your mic gain. Um, this tap, cap touch panel is really easy to use. You can toggle between your headphone volume or your mic gain. You can also mute the mic. Um, this also does work with that Motive app. Um, so if you do want to get into the EQ and the compressor and right. the limiter, you can, do um, a you more. can access yeah. it through through your iOS. And this device. has a headphone jack, right? It so does. I can monitor. And this is really important because you can't really monitor through the phone. Here, tilt that a little bit. There we go. There we go. <laughs> you can't monitor through the phone because there's latency. But if you monitor through the microphone, you hear it in real time. Exactly. That is really handy. And I also use this on my computer because it can hook up a USB cable and now it's a USB mic. Yeah, this mic will work well with iOS, with Android, it will work with PC, you know. How is this mic different, say, from the uh, MV88? I've wondered. Um, well, the MV88 is a stereo microphone and this is a mono, mono. microphone. Yeah. Is it a bigger diaphragm? Yes, this is a large diaphragm because of the larger, the larger. You can do that. Yep, can I like large that. diaphragms. I've always been a, a fan of a larger diaphragm uh, mic. And if you hold it, it's it's super weighty. I mean, it's got, yeah. it's got well, some heft to it. It feels like it should, I should be, playing the harmonica or something yeah it's got it's got that it's such a nice retro styling i really loved that when i saw it and i didn't need it because i already had the mv88 but i had to buy the 51 because i this is cool it was actually um designed to mimic the model 51 microphone so there was actually a microphone it was an old square oh, microphone wow. that looked a lot like this right um we have a brand new industrial design team and motive was one of their first projects one of the first couple I of projects they did so they really came through. And then just one other feature people don't realize is um, this screws off right here and it'll mount on any standard microphone stand. So you can put it on a mic so, stand, which yep. is really nice. Yep, exactly. And and it's got the thread for it. I love that. Yep. So we How much is that one? Uh, this is two ninety nine. That's what you're And the M V eighty eight? The M V eighty eight is one forty nine. One forty nine. Yep. Yep. That's actually an amazing price for a really good mic 149, but I, I have to say I had to buy this because I just love how it looks. Now, you've added another mic to the Motive line. We do have a couple of other things in the Motive line. Um, this is the MV5. Um, this is the small diaphragm. So uh, the so, MV51 is kind of the granddaddy of the family. This is kind of the podcaster mic, right? Yes, exactly, yeah. yeah. Um, as opposed to the uh, three three settings that we have on the others, there are the five settings, there's three on here. So there's a speech setting, a music setting, and a flat setting. So you could use it uh, to record your acoustic guitar, or yeah. your violin solo, or something like definitely, that. Definitely, yeah. definitely. And it unscrews from the top there, so if you want to throw it in your bag, you oh, certainly good. can. It just Well, see, that's why I like the MV88, because I really carry that with me everywhere yep. I go. It's really great. Yep. This one comes off of the desk stand and nice. um, it also comes in gray uh, so you can get the black and red or you can get the gray. Also the real-time headphone monitoring nice. so you don't have to worry about your latency right. issues. That's really um, you can great. control the volume here. It's all just in a small little package. And I haven't seen, well, I've seen this on the site, but I haven't seen this other, what is this new one? This right here? So um, <laughs> if you're a fan of the MV51, this is going to look sort of familiar. It's got the same touch panel, yeah. it's got the same settings, um, but it's not a microphone, it's an interface. Got um, it. This so this would be your U USB interface for a standard mic. Exactly. Oh, there you go. There's the XLR connector. Oh, oh you know, our, oh. John's going crazy. <laughs> we use these all the time. We send them out in kits. We send out the Heil PR40 because uh, we want a, a, a uh, a dynamic mic for mm -hmm. our, uh, our our broadcasters, and we have to send them an interface because they're going to hook it up to Skype on their computer. I think John has just found his new 
a USB interface. We hope so. Yeah. We hope so. And that has the DSP built in as well. Yes, it does. It has the same functionality. Once again, if you're going through iOS, you can get to the compressor and limiter and the EQ. Um, but it has a combo jack. Um, so you can either use your standard 3-pin XLR or a quarter-inch cable. So ah. if you want to plug in a keyboard well, so or... That, that yep. is, that'll do double duty. That's It'll great. do either or, yeah. Oh, that's so, nice. And the real How much is that? that? Uh, this is also, I believe, uh, 129 Oh, John, this is it. This is our new interface. There it right? is. I think so. I found it for you. Yeah, we used to use, <laughs> you had one that was microphone, like a, like a microphone. The X2U. X2U, yes, that's it. Yes, and, and we, we do still that. have, we yeah. do still have the X2U. Yeah. Um, the other nice thing about this that I forgot to mention is this will uh, power, uh, phantom power, it will provide phantom power. Um, so, ah, it, so you can use those condenser mics if you want. If that's you're nice. using it with your laptop, it'll yeah. pull the full 48. Um, it's a little bit less if you're using it off your iPhone, um, just because we didn't <laughs> want to drain your I iPhone. So, yeah. uh, but it will power a condenser nice. microphone. Yep. Really great stuff. Uh, yeah. So that's I, the I'm, motive line. I'm thrilled because I, I've used Sure for you know a lifetime in radio and also uh, you know just in the field with the SM58. But I love these new uh, digital mics. They're really really useful. And as you can see. I proved it because I have it with me at all times. I'm ready. We're very happy and proud about <laughs> that. That's for sure. You just have to have a portable uh, tent so I can record. I don't have to put my, get under the covers to record my ads. I can just do it.